actually uh, really topical. It would help to deliver citizenship agendas. I think also at the moment we're at a time where we're everyone in the education world is looking at the possibilities of digital technology and how that can help learning and this is a really good example of how a learning can extend beyond country borders and you could be learning simultaneously with somebody in France or Italy or anywhere in the world really um, and uh, creating a, a global community so I think it's got massive potential for kids and massive potential for schools and something that yeah, we're looking at with great interest. I think it would be really useful to have this kind of uh, resources in a classroom and make it more interactive, the learning a bit more interactive on a daily basis. For example, using some of the backgrounds that we've got, bringing some ideas from the outside world for the working um, environment and uh, produce it in a virtual world where the learners can then adapt and adjust and see the context of learning into the workplace, it's transferable skills for their life. I think it would be a really good purchase uh, for most of the schools. In a school, uh, teachers can watch the students in a three-dimensional way because you have you have represented all the areas in one screen. You can watch students, teacher can watch students, students can watch themselves and all the screens of the lectures might be teachers can be seen also by the students as well. And that's also interesting, whatever in your mind, in your imagination, whatever you are drawing and then uh, that software can give that reality that this type of uh, object you are drawing in the screen. And that uh, activity is also interesting. You can uh, watch in all type of uh, dimensions, whether it's uh, uh, if you are talking about students, if you are talking about lectures, their uh, expressions, you can watch them at one place, at one platform. <laughs> That's why this is actually great, is because it has so much viability and flexibility of how many different ways it can go. Yeah. I mean, you can literally take this in any direction you're willing to take it. Yeah. And have so many different applications to it. Yeah. So yeah. It's all about building immersion, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I graduated in a IB school, which had peace and conflict studies, and then there's quite a lot of role playing about you know modern United Nations, European Parliament, and there were quite a lot of international students from regions um, you know, which are in conflict. And because we already um, debate on those issues, and you know, it would you know, be really good um, to um, you know, further engage the students through this virtual reality world, instead of you know, just using the um, um, paper and pencil uh, role-playing um, activities that are being done now. So I see a lot of value in this. And definitely, if you know, apart from Europe European Parliament, you can develop uh, model United Nations and perhaps allow different schools in other parts of the world to localize their their own kind of parliamentary system and even you know district councils you know system. Then you know I think there's a lot of potential for schools.